Okay, so let's take a look at the software for the G's One Commando by Casio on Verizon. Um, the Commando is an Android 2.2 phone, as you can see, and it does feature a custom user interface layer on top of parts of the um, Android software, but it's for the most part pretty stock Android 2.2, just so you can open up messaging. It's your standard messaging application, um, go into your phone dialer. Slightly different look, but um, pretty much just your Android 2.2 interface. The main difference uh, for the overall interface you're going to see down here, just kind of the main screen, you have your app tray, which is here, and I'll pull up your apps. You have your phone uh, menu, and then you have this thing which is the snap out menu, and this is pretty cool. So you can grab that and drag it out, and it'll bring out a group of five shortcuts that you use pretty often. You, these are you, user assignable. You can assign whatever you want. And so if you don't lift up your finger, you can drag back to the one you want and select it, and it'll open it up. You can also just take that snap out menu and fling it all the way over to the edge, and then you can just look at your menu. And this is how you can do uh, some changes to it. We can hit this button, trash, whatever you want. And um, as I'm sure many of you would like to do, let's just trash Bing here. Yes, this phone does have Bing on it, which could be a problem for a lot of people, but um, it's actually pretty easy to set it back up to use Google as default. But anyway, so you can hit that and add whatever you want there. So you can add what, the Tides uh, viewers. Okay, so that is the snap out menu. The Commando also comes with XT9 uh, typing, which is kind of its own version of the swipe keyboard. Um, as you can see, just normal, kind of go through. Uh... Alright, so there you can see it works pretty much identically to swipe, not a problem, pretty easy to do. The Commando also comes with a pretty good amount of preloaded software, uh, as we said a little bit earlier, Bing is preloaded for maps and search and things like that. You can switch it to mostly to Google stuff um, just by changing your default settings. Um, a lot of your Verizon apps, NFL Mobile, Skype Mobile, Slacker Radio, your Vcast App Store, Vcast Video, and Vcast Music, all of that stuff. Verizon's Visual Voicemail, VZ Navigator, all the usuals for a Verizon phone. Um, but the cool thing about this handset is the G's Gear suite of applications, which I really think are, are pretty cool. We've got, you know, a compass, which is pretty basic, you know, compass there. But there's also this layer compass, which is cool, which will show you directions to the nearest things. And there's different layers. We've got right now National Parks of the United States for eastern United States and Alaska. Um, we can switch that layer to national parks for the west and the, the Rockies. Um, all sorts of things. But there you see there's some world mountains and that's just showing me in which direction and how far these mountains are. The G's Gear suite of applications also has a thermometer and this is different from most Android devices because it's not just pulling in information down from the internet um, for the temperature. I mean, it is in some cases you see it for these comparisons as pulling these cities in from the internet, but this current temperature is actually being read by a thermometer sensor within the phone, so it's giving you a very accurate specific temperature for your location, not just a uh, weather channel um, feed that it's pulling in there. So you see there's a couple other ones that are pretty cool, but we aren't going to go too deep into. There's a tides viewer, which will let you kind of see high tide, low tide for different beaches and different areas. Um, a stargazer, which is kind of like Google Sky Map. Um, there's a sun and moon, that's just going to give you your times for your setting of the sun and sunrise. Um, a pedometer, adventure training, which will pit you against world records for marathon, half marathon, one mile sprint. So, a bunch of different stuff to, to help get you active, help you get outdoor, go on hikes, that sort of thing. So, it's very focused towards the adventurer. Uh, the outdoorsmen or people that like just like to get out and um, be active so and it's a great phone for that with its rugged rugged design because you don't have to worry too much about breaking the thing. You'll see that the G's Gear apps do have their own set of widgets so you have a compass widget here and you just click it to start it and it's just going to 
work as a basic compass. There's also a couple here. This one is for your, your tide tracker. And this is for my adventure hike to the South Pole. Um, and that's just gonna, this just kind of tracks as you're walking with the phone and then the distance you go. And as you go a certain distance, it'll tell you you've gotten to another landmark um, along this virtual hike to the South Pole. So uh, not as good as actually hiking to the South Pole, but it'll tell you if you've actually walked far enough to get there, which is pretty cool. Another pre-installed little application, which was kind of neat, flashlight automatically built in. Just hit your flashlight on, uses the LED back here for the flashlight. Um, I know you can download a lot of those people download that in the market, so that's pretty nice to have that built in. So that's a look at the software on the Casio Commando. Um, there's some things to like, some things that we're not so big on, but uh, we really like that it's a mostly stock Android phone. Um, does have a few enhancements, and for the most part, there's enhancements like the snap out layer, um, make it more useful rather than take away from the experience. Uh, they included apps, the G's Gear apps are very cool, um, so we like that. Very cool suite of apps for the adventurous type of person. So if you're into getting out, getting fit, if you're into going on a hike, if you're into camping, or if you work uh, in construction sort of thing, I mean there's a lot of features on this phone that make it pretty useful and um, definitely worth checking out.